So we're going to try a um, computer power supply now to light one 4-400. This could be a 3-502 or any 5 volt filament. This takes 14 and a half amps at 5 volts. This power supply will provide same. So at 5 volts. So uh, this will work nicely. There's one problem though, or when it's turned on, the uh, the power supply immediately shuts down because obviously the filament is cold and it looks like almost a dead short. So it draws well over 30 amps and the power supply shuts down. What I did was made a circuit that basically uses this relay and a switch transistor, just a basic NPN, and a resistor. And what it does, you've got, of course, it's got this 0.68 ohm resistor in series with the filament. The power supply operates the filament on this just fine. So we'll have a look at that here in just a moment in the schematics. So right now, I'm going to come over here and turn it on. There it goes. So now we come over here and we just wait. Probably about 15 seconds, something like that. And we wait. And all of a sudden, bam, there it goes. Take a look at the voltage across the pins. Got the probes on the filament leads. And there is 4.95 volts. A 50 millivolt drop uh, in the contacts of this relay. See, that's a perfect 5 volts coming out of the uh, power supply. The red and the black. Of course, the red wires I bundled them together with the black so they'd handle the current. And here's the schematic diagram of it computer power supply and I'm utilizing the yellow, red, and black. Red, of course, is the 5 volt. You have to bundle all those wires together because that's handling a lot of current. And the same with the ground on this. First here is the point 068 and the relay and then finally it goes to the filament of the tube. Here is the transistor, garden variety. You can use a 2N2222 there. 12 volt relay with the snubber diode. It's a bypass capacitor, about one microfarad, and uh, that goes back to the yellow or the 12 volt. And here, just use an ordinary 470 ohm resistor. When this warms up and gets to a voltage of about one volt, um, this transistor will conduct and pull in that relay, which shorts out this resistor, and the tube comes on, as, or the filament comes on on the tube, as we've seen. I've now had the, the filaments off for a while, and we'll try it again. Just repeat the experiment. Here goes the switch. And now we're over here waiting. There it goes. Beautiful. Uh, most of these computer power supplies have the ground directly connected to the chassis and also the mains power is the ground there is connected to the chassis. So when using a computer power supply, using it for filament supply and for something where you don't want the filaments to be at ground, the supply will have to be floated above ground and the ground is connected. Here on the schematic shows this computer power supply unit and here's your hot neutral. Those connect to your normal power but the ground you do not connect that and ground, the chassis ground will be floated. To make a center tap, this is a method which works quite nicely. In the case of 5 volt, you can use two 5 ohm, 5 watt uh, resistors. In this configuration, I like using the center tap method and floating the power supply above ground.